You got backup on the way? Yes, sir. Awesome. That's great. You got a body cam rolling? No, sir. There's no body cam on you no, at all? No, sir. Is there a dash cam on your car? No, sir. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I got back in the car okay. here just a second. Do they have body cams? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to try to talk to them because my life ain't safe with you right now. Really? It's not. Okay. It's not. Okay. Not unless you have body cam because somehow, some way, footage gets deleted and I don't want that. Well, you got a, you got a camera right there. I, I do, but right. I do. But sometimes these get deleted too. Okay. So I'm stepping just off the roadway just a little bit. I don't want to step on their property unless you got written consent that I'm allowed right here from them. You're allowed right here. You got me on video. You're allowed right here. Um. I'm fine where I'm at, brother. Really? I'm fine. Honestly, I, I don't, because I don't want to hear their mouth. I know hearsay is inadmissible, but I don't want to hear it. So I'm out of the roadway. Okay. I'm fine. Here we see a cop pull up on a police auditor doing everything he can to trick the auditor into surrendering some of his rights, especially since the cop has the extra protection of not being equipped with a body cam. Can I have your name? Uh, Lieutenant Handy. Lieutenant Handy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Badge number? I got an employee number. Can I have that number? Yeah. Thank you. So what's going on today? Y'all from here? I, I didn't call, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just out here enjoying the sun, brother. Okay. I'm assuming this crowd of people here call. Y'all might want to go talk to them. I think we should go talk to them, honestly, because I didn't call you. Okay. How we doing, fellas? What are we talking about today? Can I have everybody's name here? Okay. I can't hear you. Thank you. Where's the other one? There he is. You insist on standing behind me. Nice to meet you. They called y'all. Yes, sir. They did. Yes, sir. What's this about here? Because you're going armed and terrorizing people. I'm terrorizing people? Yeah, showing up armed in a parking lot. <laughs> that's funny, right? No. Come on, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Come on, laugh. That's funny, right? Come on, laugh with me. That's funny. It is what it is. I know it, man. Well, they're standing right down there if I want to go talk to them. That's private property. You can't go down there. Oh, I'm, y'all got jurisdiction there. I didn't call. Oh, I understand. So I, I just don't understand what all this is about. So another group of people called the cops on the man filming, saying he was terrorizing people because he is armed with a rifle on public property, which, to be fair, seems like a fairly reasonable response. However, it's important to note that the auditor wasn't accused of threatening anyone or committing an act of violence in the first place. So are you parked somewhere? Are you, are you trying to identify me by running my tag? Just answer the question. If it's yes, just say yes. So, so carrying a rifle on the street or highway, the the really? It is. It, 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 crime. Does that go against the Second Amendment that says I'm allowed to open carry in a public uh, assessment area? Because I did the G, I did the land guard survey. I know I'm on public property. I stay I stay well within the easement. Right, so public property is your going on for the terror of the people. Right, that is a misdemeanor crime. Because I'm. That's, hey, this is a Second Amendment protected activity. I'm a Second I'm an open carry. I'm the biggest Second Amendment supporter you ever made. Oh yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's open carry, right? It is. Is this open? But a rifle. Is this open? It is, but a rifle. Is this open? But a rifle is going on for the terror of the people. That's open carry. I've already, did, I've checked every state law. I've checked city, I've checked statutes. I've checked city ordinances. Nothing against long carry of open rifles unless I have to be 18 and legally able to possess this firearm, which I'm both. I'm not a felon. I'm not a convicted felon unless you suspect me of being one. Didn't y'all suspect me of being a felon? There's no crime being committed. I didn't call y'all. Am I being detained by any of y'all right now? You know, by now, how we feel, right, on the subject of guns and gun laws, and while we do believe there should be less out there, of course, that doesn't mean that others can't do so, especially when they're abiding by their state's own laws. In South Carolina and many other southern states, there is no legal requirement that permits citizens from open carrying rifles and shotguns, in contrast to handguns. In fact, there's barely any regulation at all of rifles, which definitely needs to be reformed and tightened up at the federal level, but regardless, the auditor was well within his rights. So in conclusion, we do need less firearms out there and stricter gun laws on a national scale. However, that still doesn't give law enforcement officers the right to openly abuse the rights of the citizens they're supposed to be serving, and just goes to show that even when the police agree with your politics, they won't let that get in the way of abusing your rights.